Good morning folks, uh, this is Eric back again. Uh, this is a tutorial, it's going to be a quick tutorial on using regex to remove plus ones from phone numbers. Um, I might go into some other phone number regexes as well. Now you can go and you can set uh, a very very complicated regexes but sometimes it's best and quicker to uh, to just run a couple regexes manually uh, that will do a batch of things with you know because troubleshooting a long complicated regex can take forever so this is a, a quick and dirty way to get her done now the date is September 18th 2021 and without further ado here we go so basically I have a document here, a contacts document of my imported Google contacts. I've set up a regex as slash plus because I want to find the plus uh, character explicitly. Now, if I didn't have the slash there, it would do, it would try to find just one character, any one character. So everything that had anything on it at all would automatically be found. Uh, so I'm looking for the literal phrase plus one and you can see over here I've done find all and find all will highlight all the ones that match that way you can kind of see and go through and see if there's anything that's not an exact match to what you're looking for so you can filter that out if you want to but so that's what that does and then, of course, if you know anything about regex, the parentheses is a capture group, and the dot and the star means any any combination of text and spaces uh, in there. So what we're going to do then is uh, I tried replace with slash one in uh, some programs and some uh, programming languages slash one is what will give you the capture group result right here but in this case it turned out to be dollar sign one so that's what i have there i'm searching in columns and by the way this is in open office calc because it can't afford and don't really want to support microsoft anymore uh being as they well they support planned parenthood or are supporters of murdering babies and I'm not into that. And Bill Gates is trying to make us all wear masks and take over the world and keep people stupid. Nope, not having it. So, open office calc it is. All right. Anyway, and I've got the regular expressions checked. So first I'll show you what happens. Here's one that I've already done. I'll show you what happens when it finds it. I'll just go to find. So there it found one, and if I do replace, it's going to replace that. So it gets rid of that plus one and the space, because i got a space there too, um, in front of phone numbers that Google, Cal or Google, uh, Google Contacts on my Samsung Galaxy phone automatically put that plus one in for some reason on, on some phone numbers and then not on others. So now... I'm doing uh, by columns in case I don't want it to influence any other columns. But I'm just going to go ahead and do replace all in this column right now. And boom, that's all done. Like 56 of them or something that I would have otherwise had to manually do. Now I go to home phone and do the same thing. Replace all. So there was one there, but there isn't any now. And now... I will do rows and I will go home and I will do find to see if there's any more. There's no more in this. So we're good on that one. Now I'm going to go back to where are we at here. I'm going to go back to the rows with the phone numbers and I'm going to try to write another regex for you real time. 
So I want to take the ones with the parentheses. So I need to do a, a backslash to escape. Then I want to have it be three digits. So I'll use the uh, squiggly brackets, braces or what have you, to, this is going to be fun, to say three, to set that specific amount. And then I'm going to say slash. Okay. So now that's going to be literal parentheses with three digits in it, and then a space, and then whatever, whatever else is after it. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to go find to see if it finds that. Okay, so it does find it. Now the only thing that I'm missing is I need to put a capture group around that. So, uh oh, what happened there? Go to the beginning and put parentheses. See, it starts to look pretty complicated, doesn't it? But it's a pretty simple, pretty simple idea. So we'll go here, we'll go find. So it found it. So I should be able to now say dollar sign one. That'll be the first capture group, the the area code, in other words. And then a dash, because I'm going to separate them all by dashes instead of parentheses. And then dollar sign two will be everything that was after that that we didn't do anything with. So I'll try replace. And, aha, okay, so I actually made a mistake there. Let's go back. You see it did put the uh, dash in, so it, it found it right. I capture grouped the wrong stuff. I don't want the parentheses in the capture group. So I'm going to go in here. Yeah, this is kind of weird, huh? And put the parentheses just around the digit. And we'll try it again, and we'll say find, and then we'll do a replace. And since it looks good, we'll go ahead and replace all, and boom, everything that had the parentheses, bada bing, bada boom. Now all i got to do is go in and uh, align those all to the right, and they'll look good. So that's a quick tutorial just to show you how that works. Uh, two different regexes for manipulating and converting phone numbers to, you know, common usable thing. We can try one more if you want. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll go phone number is three digits, three digits, and four digits. So that's seven and three is ten. So if I do slash D slash D and then a bracket and ten, I should find everything that's Watch this. We'll do columns again. Go find. Find. So see it skipped that one, but it found that one. We'll do replace. No. So now uh -huh. okay, so watch this. So we'll do D three. Then we'll do slash D three. And we'll do slash d4 and then of course I got a capture group each one of those individually capture group that I'm trying to get this done before the video ends okay and now I should be able to do dollar sign one dash dollar sign two dash dollar sign three let's see Let's do a find, so found it, and let's replace it, bada bing, we'll replace it all. Oh, look at that. All right, so that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining me, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe to uh, Eric Hepperly Designs or wherever you found this video uh, on my channel, and have a great day.